Hello everybody, welcome out here on the farm. And today we're talking about chickens a little bit. And let me back up and show you what I've got here. This is my attempt at a Joel Salatin chicken tractor. And basically it, it is a eight by 10. So it's a little bit smaller than his, which is a 10 by 12 that can house up to 75 to 100 chickens at a time. And I only have 30 chickens and I don't think I would do more than 50 anyway. But this is my attempt at a chicken tractor and we'll see how this goes anyway. But yeah, there's my 29 chickens. Started off with 30. Um, now we're down to 29. Unfortunately, we had one die in the first two days. But here we are. We've got a five gallon waterer there in the middle. And everybody looks like they're pretty healthy. They're putting on their wings, uh, not wings, their feathers. It was time to get them out of the garage. That is for sure. I understand when people say that chickens are nasty. It's not the chickens are nasty, it's just they're left in the same spot. Man, do they smell bad after a while. But you can't blame them. I mean, anything else that was left in the same spot for a long period of time where they were pooping and having that as their bedding, it's just terrible. Anyway, maybe that's my fault, I don't know. Maybe it is. Anyway, here's the, here's the chicken tractor. And if anybody has any tips or anything on what to do better with it, uh, I'd appreciate that. Uh, this is not um, perfect. But you know what? I was really reading and thinking a lot about Joel Salatin's book, Poultry, uh, Pasture Poultry. And the goal is to be able to get them out here in somewhat of a contained area so that they can be as safe as possible from predators. They do have this metal sheeting that they can go get behind and feel a little bit more secure and get them out here on the on the land get them out here in the in the property and get their the manure on the field give us something to eat at the same time it benefits a whole lot of things on the farm the chickens have a great life and one terrible day but that is just part of farming that's where all of our food comes from and we're we're getting back to the basics folks here we're getting back down to grassroots learning how to grow things ourselves uh, more of a homesteading setup with this one but hey somebody else out there is going to look at this and go if he can build it which i have no farming experience i have no knowledge of any of it at all but this is my attempt and you guys can do your own attempt what I did was I just wrapped this up here in the front. Just pull that back. And then you can raise this any which way because it's not attached to anything else. And then you're in there to your chickens. This one door is not attached to anything as well. But they're able to get in here, peck around, eat whatever they can. And they're actually making a pretty good dent in this, this grass. They're... They're enjoying being down there in the clover. I think they feel good. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll move them. And we'll show you what a move looks like as well. But yeah, thanks for joining. And uh, we'll see you next time.